Nice and loud, guys, when they get out of the truck. So what's happening here, ladies and gentlemen, is Captain Bernardi is taking command of this scene. And what they've done is they've done a complete 360 degree sweep of the vehicle. And they've done a complete 360 degree sweep of the vehicle. They made sure there's no hazards for us and no further hazards to endanger the person in the vehicle. What these guys are doing now is just reporting to the captain what they found in that 360 degree sweep of the vehicle. They're just reporting whatever hazards they found and they're also indicating that yes, there is captain. There's one patient in the vehicle. So our medic, Steve in the red helmet, he's making contact with that patient to help that patient out of their situation. So what's happening now is we're introducing a bunch of cribbing, what we call cribbing. Basically what it is, is just dimensional lumber that we put in under the vehicle to keep it from moving any further. So if the patients, let's say they have, if they have a neck problem that their head isn't going to move any further, or if they have a sore arm, that that vehicle doesn't move, creating one, uh, further patient damage, or two, uh, moving on potentially the firefighters on scene and maybe hurting them. If either we're struggling or there is a delay in that plan, then we're going to start taking the roof off. And if that's not going so well, then we're going to go through the trunk. Sounds kind of funny, but yes, we do do that. We'll take the trunk deck off, we'll, the deck where the speakers are, we'll move that and the back seat, and we'll bring the patient out the back of the vehicle. So there's three different things in this scenario that we can do to help this patient out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Good job. What we do. Here's our car extrication team, auto extrication team from yesterday, and now they're working. Now, what's really odd is just yesterday I watched the Mississauga Fire Department auto extrication team. Uh, do a demonstration in front of Mississauga City Hall and here they are today um, taking the skills that they practiced yesterday and using it in real life and we've got uh, Peel Regional Police here as expected and also our Mission Fire Department and uh, Ambulance Services as well so here it is Here's this is by the way the best in the world uh, auto extrication team and uh, let's see what they do They've removed one person from the stretcher right now and I'm uh, going to help her with privacy. So we'll go somewhere else here. You have police on scene. And uh, we've got the young woman on a stretcher and I won't uh, go and zoom in. will be very well taken care of. Paramedics. This is the fire department. Peel Regional uh, Ambulance Services. Peel Regional Police. This is our emergency services team. They're now taking the driver or whoever putting on this ambulance. Hot day, I'm missing fire department's gun. And I anticipate that they'll get her uh, to the hospital quickly. There it is. The expertise team with all the equipment that uh, 
they de demonstrated yesterday. There's the blocks. Here's a Missy bus going by. There they are cleaning up. Taking uh, the person away in an ambulance. We've got the emergency fire department here. Our field regional police. Okay, so by the police. I don't see it there.